If you're looking for a way to hide files such as photos, movies, or other important documents, TrueCrypt is a great way, easy way, to do just that. Just go to TrueCrypt.org. Then click on the download link. And once you're there, just download the version that you need. Just click on download. Now once you have that downloaded and installed, it will put an icon on your desktop. Just open that up. Once you have this, now this is where you create a container. You create a container to put all your folders in, or all your files and folders in. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll go to, um, I usually go to my computer. Alright, once you're in my computer, I just go to the C drive, create a folder in here, right click, go to new, and click on folder. And name it whatever you want. Name this locker 2. Alright, now we have that folder there. Now what you want to do is, you want to go here and you want to create select a drive, create volume alright you want to create an encrypted file container so just hit next, hit next and then here you'll select a file alright go back to my computer Go to the C drive and then select a locker two or the file that you created, the folder that you created. Alright, and then here you would name the actual file the container. So we'll just name this container container one and we'll just hit save. After that, just hit next. I'm going to use the default encryption, AES, just fine, just hit next. And in here you will allocate how much space you want this container to take up. So it depends on the size of the files that you will be putting in this container. Say um, you want to put some, so you got some photos from your digital camera. Uh, you might want to make this roughly about 10 gigs, depending on how many, fo how many pictures you take. But we'll set this as at 10 gigs, so we'll type in 10 and then we'll check that and then hit next alright here's where you will type in your password whenever you would decide to open up this container so we'll just make the password confirm it and just hit next you don't have to touch anything else when this comes up just hit yes And it asks you if you're going to store files larger than 4 gigs. If you think you will, just hit yes. If not, hit no. Then hit next. Here it's going to ask you to move your cursor around to change this random pool number here. Just move it around a bunch of times in, within this window. And just hit format. Okay, and once it's done formatting, just hit OK. Hit next. Oh, no, no, we're done. Hit cancel. Alright, now that we've created our container, all we have to do is select a drive letter now. So we'll select J, anything that's open here, it doesn't matter which one it is. Hit select file. Now we'll go to where we created the, this container. So we'll go into the folder that we created, then the container that we created. Hit open. Now all you have to do is click mount. And this will mount the container so it'll make it make it so that way you can access it. Now if you was to go into that folder yourself and try to just open it up without TrueCrypt, it will not open up the container. It will not allow you to see the files that are inside of it. So here we'll just put in the password that we gave it. Hit OK. And now we have mounted the container. So just double click on this to open the container. Now you can put any files, folders, or anything that you want 
you can put inside of this container and it will be hidden. You will not be able to access it without using TrueCrypt and using that password. And when you're finished, all you have to do is just select the, the drive letter and then click on dismount. And that's it. Check out ronjr.wordpress.com and leave any comments or any responses to this video on my blog or on my YouTube videos. Thank you.